Introducing the new hot hot pot in Honolulu, Hawaii at Market City Mall is Kamitoku Japanese Hot Pot, which is a quick drive from Waikiki or Ala Moana. When it comes to hot pot, it's not the ingredients you cook in it which makes it unique, but the broth you cook the ingredients in. At Kamitoku, the base of their broth is beef, like their well-known sister restaurant Kamitoku Ramen with locations in Honolulu and Japan. The interior is clean and sleek with a wooden motif and Asian decorations on the upper half of the walls and ceiling. They offer a lunch and dinner menu and will be focusing on their affordable and tasty lunch menu. The lunch includes hot pot sets with your choice of different qualities of meat along with vegetables and a choice of broth. Japanese set meals, aka teishoku, have been recently added to the menu for a variety of tasty dishes during lunch hours. There are different flavors of beef broth and you can choose a premium broth for an additional dollar. There's also a mega-sized hot pot with premium beef or pork for those who have a mighty need to eat their fill of meat. For dinner, they offer different hot pot sets. A variety of drinks, including alcohol, is offered throughout the day. information about the premium meats they offer. Each table comes with one electric burner for the hot pot, but the pot can be split for different broths in one pot. We ordered the rich and tasty Seabura broth, which is a rich beef flavor enhanced by a cream and stewed beef back fat, which melts into the broth and makes the broth even richer. For our hot pot lunch set, we asked for beef brisket for the protein. The brisket cooks quickly for you to enjoy the meaty goodness seconds after you put it in the broth. If the broth gets too hot and starts to boil and steam, you can adjust the temperature yourself on the electric burner. As I said earlier, we ordered a Seo Buddha and this is a piece of the stewed beef back fat in the broth. They give you quite a few pieces of back fat to let it melt slowly into the broth, making it richer and richer tasting along with the meat you cook in it too. We like to cook the vegetables last to keep the broth's rich meaty flavor as long as possible to sip from our bowls. I had a craving for menchi katsu, so I was happy to see the cheese beef menchi katsu lunch set on the menu, which they started offering the day we went. The menchi katsu is deep fried beef, and their version includes melted cheese in the middle to give it even more richness. Eating rice with a Seya Buddha broth is so tasty. The set also comes with crunchy cabbage, cherry tomatoes, and QP mayo. There's pickled cabbage as well on the side. Rather than the standard miso soup, they gave us a bowl of their tasty beefy marina broth with the set. The set also included a couple pieces of juicy karaage chicken.
As we had the rich Sayabuda broth, the staff gave us a palate cleanser of flavorful ice green tea to end the meal. Market City parking can be quite busy at times as you can see here as Kamitoku shares the parking with various other restaurants, shops, and a supermarket. If you can't find parking on the top floors, there is more parking on the bottom floor. The bottom floor parking is parallel to Kaimuki Avenue which you can take for going back to Ala Moana and Waikiki. Kamitoku was doing a promotion for the month of August. $9.99 for what you see here. What a great deal. Follow their Instagram for their latest promotion announcements. This time we ordered Seobura and miso broth which was split in one pot. The miso was tasty and besides the miso flavor we also tasted garlic and ginger. The flavor getting more concentrated as the broth level got lower and lower. We ordered the brisket again but as you can see the slices can vary for the amount of fat on it. The vegetables include napa cabbage, bok choy, oyster mushrooms, and a slice of fish cake alongside a bowl of rice. One side of the pot can boil higher than the other, but you can simply move the pot over a little to the side which isn't as hot to even it out. With how thin the meat is sliced, they cook quite quickly for you to enjoy eating seconds after putting it in the pot. All the vegetables we were given were quite fresh and tasty. Backfat goes really well with the rice too as it's not chewy but soft and flavorful. Mushrooms were cut into thick, easy to eat slices. If you're low on tasty broth, you can ask for more free of charge. Enjoy eating a Kamitoku Japanese hot pot and follow them on Instagram for their latest information and promotions. Hope you enjoyed watching and please subscribe if you did for more tasty food reviews. Thank you! Until next time, may the broth be with you.